Hey guys, this is Stephanie with White Horse Body Work. I'm just going to share with you real quick on how to do a knee taping for stabilization. Um, this is Nikki. She had a incident with uh, a pasture mate, most likely, to where she had some swelling in her knee and a little stiffness and a little gimpiness. So we're going to give her some support. We're going to prep the area with just spraying rubbing alcohol on a microfiber cloth. And we're gonna make sure that we really, really, really prepare that surface so that your tape will stay stuck to it. We wanna remove all the dirt, remove all the excess dust and oils and loose hair. And you wanna keep going with your microfiber cloth until it comes out clean itself. So you might have to go through a few on different parts of the body. So we're just gonna again, scrub that area real nice and then we'll give the alcohol a little bit of time to dry. So you don't want to overly saturate your towel, but just kind of get all that hair and area nice and clean and it'll start evaporating. So to measure the tape for her knee, we're going to be starting about four inches above the knee, making an X across it and about four inches below. We're going to cut that piece and then create a second piece for the other side of the X. We're gonna make sure that we round our corners because that kind of prevents the tape from getting drug off. So I'm just rounding corners here. Okay, for tape application with our first piece, we're going to fold it in half. You're going to tear the tape at the top, the paper in the back, and then just pull it apart. Fold your edges back a little bit, creating that opening. And then this set middle section is going to have a moderate stretch, so we're going to actually pull it a good bit, and we're going to create an X right across her knee and lay it down. This tape is heat activated, so we wanna make sure that we rub the tape a little bit to get that adhesive really going. And then for the remainder piece of the tape, we're going to wrap around the back and just lay it down. Wrap around the back and lay it down. So the only stretch you're gonna have is right here in this section. For our second piece, again, we're gonna fold it in half, tear it, pull apart, pull the backing off some to expose the middle part. Again, a moderate stretch on the opposite X right over that knee. Rub it to get the heat activation on the adhesive. The remaining part of the tape is going to wrap around the back and then wrap around the back with no stretch. Just lay it down. Okay, so now we're going to apply anchors. So this will just help the tape stay on good. Um, it's going to go at the utmost top part where your ends are. So just measure, just barely overlap. So we want tape on tape. You don't have to round your edges on this type because we're getting ready to uh, overlap the tape. We'll tear our ends, lay it down. And then simply quietly roll it around her knee making sure that the tape is laying on the tape. There's really no stretch on this. We don't need stretch. We're just providing the anchor so that the tape stays on in a longer pattern. Again, for the bottom, we're gonna find where the tape is. We're going to measure right around. Pull your edges right here and then kind of Pop it, roll that off, 
Lay it down without any stretch, no stretch at all. Just lay it down. Wrap around so you're just making an anchor tape on tape. And then just lay it down flat with no stretch. So that is how to do the cross pattern taping for the knee. And as you can see, it allows the joint to be open in the back and bent.